Hi, it's Ben for Ticketmaster. I'm here backstage at Reading with Dan and Kyle from Bastille. How's it going, guys? All right, thanks, mate. You all right? I'm, I'm very well. I've had a very good day. Uh, we've reached the end of the end of the first day now. Uh, how's well, almost. Obviously, you get still get to play. That is still allowed to happen. It hasn't begun yet. <laughs> really. How how are you feeling about it all right now? Uh, fucking terrified. Honestly? Yeah. Do you still you still get nervous before the shows then? We're like playing on the main stage at Reading Festival. How is that not? I mean, it's exciting, and I'm very excited. But more on a scale of terrified to excited, I'm somewhere. Somewhere further in the, the terrified camp. How are you feeling, Kyle? Um, um, yeah, I've been excited. We always tend to have a really we have a lot of fun when we come to Reading, um, and the crowds are always amazing. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting out and seeing if they do it again. Yeah, we just hope you know it would be nice if some people came and watched us. I'm, I'm pretty sure that will probably happen. Well, uh, I hope so. You, 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 you know, you can't take anything for granted. Uh, yeah, but it's nice to be here. I, you know, I've come to Reading for years and. Uh, so it's quite weird coming back here as a band that are playing rather than as just a, you know, yeah. as a as a as a music fan. So it's not obviously it's not your first time here. Um, do you remember the first time that you guys played the festival? Yeah, we played at the Festival Public Stage, um, kind of mid afternoon, and or like late afternoon, and it was uh, uh, we just released this single and an EP called Overjoyed. So it's quite early days, and we just had no idea like what the reception would be like at a festival like this, and like if people would come and what would happen and um, yeah, we went out on stage and the tent was overflowing, which blew our minds. And then, you know, like the first notes of one of the songs, just hearing the crowd sing back to us, it was like nothing we'd ever experienced before. So it was kind of, that was sort of, that was a bit of a like watershed moment for us, where I think all of us as a band sort of thought like, fuck, maybe, maybe people might like our music and maybe this might be a thing we can do for a few more years. So, so like in that, in that, in that way, it's always been really important this festival to us and it's been amazing getting to play there and then go up to the you know ready one enemy 10 and then and the main stage like it's it's uh it's very cool for us is there anything particular that you've now you've reached a stage that you're going to do to to psych up before the show i mean we're not too long away from it now is it do you have anything planned between this interview and going on stage we thought we'd just we get in the loads mood. of promo yeah <laughs> which, which is know? a good time to do it right just before to be honest i mean like we have our basic like vocal warm-ups which are super cool um, and obviously we'd drink like seven bottles of tequila bottles each. Of tequila and whiskey each. Give each other a lap dance. Lap dance. Just to get in the right frame of mind before you go out, right? We'd, we all get in the circle and do like a four-way make-out. <laughs> <laughs> Just really get it stuck in. Um, and what about, I mean, how does it compare to doing your own headline shows as well? You know, is, is there something special about playing the festivals? I mean, I, I love playing festivals because we're like massive music fans, so we always just get out and watch as much music as we can. Today, we haven't been able to see very much. Um, yet, but we're going to go see Queens of Stone Age later and uh, and check out Kasabian. Try, try, yeah, we're going to try, try it. it. I reckon it's going to be quite busy out there. Right? That might not happen, but um, yeah, I mean, fuck, we're so lucky. We get to we get to spend our weekends at festivals, and when we're not playing or chatting to people like you, we get to go and watch music, which is you know you can't really ask for more. But um, yeah, I guess like you know a headline show, if it's your own gig on your own tour, you know that. The people who are there, you're, you know, you're kind of you're preaching to the choir a little bit, and there's something quite exciting about playing at a festival and, and knowing that some people will have heard a couple of your songs. There'll be some hardcore fans. There'll be some people that probably don't like you very much. They're just there to check you out. And there's something about having to like distill what you do down into like an hour or 45 minutes and or an hour and a half, and like and I guess try and win people over and, and yeah, just give a proper cross section of what, what we're about. Because a lot of other bands talk about how like it's it's a challenge, it's more of a challenge to play at a festival because you do have that opportunity to win other people over as well. Yeah, which is cool. Like, you know, there's not many there's not many settings you have where you have the opportunity to, to do what you do in front of people who wouldn't necessarily be there. Like there's so many acts that we've seen that like, we're kind of lucky we get to play at such a mad, Cross section of festivals. We did uh, earlier in the summer. We did one one fr on the Friday. We played sandwich. We were after Run the Jewels and before Frank Ocean. And then the next day we were like between. We were like before Rod Stewart, and uh, and then we find ourselves in like Poland playing like ridiculously heavy rock festivals. And we're like, um, did you listen to our music before we got here? But it's quite a nice way to sort of just like see such a mad cross section of people and different music fans and play to people who wouldn't necessarily check out your kind of music and, yeah and yeah. um, just really quickly are, are there any plans to take the show on the road any any tour plans coming up oh no we just we, we just we like coming to the end of our year-long tour yeah um so no but we're planning like we're planning sort of a, a special sort of smaller tour thing that should be completely different 
at some point in the future and and yeah we're, we're, we've got to finish our album cool. so, so new music so kind of like releasing new music is on the horizon for us and then then we have to learn it and then we play it live excellent well we look forward to it and enjoy your time at reading and leeds thank you very much for for your time with us cheers thank mate. thanks for having us